Say you just met someone amazing. The chemistry is electric. Conversations flow effortlessly. And you're riding high on cloud nine. Then suddenly silence. Your messages go unanswered. Calls unreturned, you've been ignored. And it feels like you're free, falling without a parachute. Sound familiar, you're not alone. This moment separates the 99% from the elite 1%. This moment of truth separates the masses from the elite few. Remember, it's not about who you are now. It's about what you do next. In the next few minutes, I'm going to reveal the shocking truth about why most men crash and burn when they're ignored. More importantly, I'll show you the little known strategies that the top 1% use to turn the tables and come out on top, so stay with me. By the end of this, you'll have the tools to join the ranks of the elite 1%. Now let's go right into the reasons why 99% of men fail when they're ignored and how to be the 1%. One, the approval trap. Kryptonite for attraction. When someone ignores you, your gut might scream to double down, send another message, make another call. This urge to chase approval is a surefire way to tank your attractiveness. Why? because it broadcasts neediness louder than a foghorn on a quiet night by reacting strongly to being ignored. You're handing over the keys to your emotional state. You're saying your attention controls how I feel. This creates a power imbalance from the get-go and it's not in your favor. Remember we value what scares, not what's abundant make yourself constantly available and you become as exciting as watching pain dry. The alternative isn't playing hard to get. It's genuinely being hard to get because your life is full and valuable. Next time you feel that urge to chase, redirect that energy. Pour it into a project you're passionate about. Lose yourself in a challenging workout. Dive into that book you've been meaning to read. By doing this, you're not just distracting yourself. You're actively building your own value, becoming the kind of person others find irresistible. To the abundance mindset, your secret weapon. Most men operate from a scarcity mindset in dating. They believe opportunities for connection are limited. So being ignored feels catastrophic. This desperation is about as attractive as a moldy sandwich. The top performers, however, embrace abundance. They understand there are billions of people out there and countless chances for meaningful connections. This isn't about being a player. It's about understanding your worth in the vastness of possibilities. It's knowing that if one person isn't interested, it's not a reflection of your value. It's just not the right fit. To shift to this mindset, create a life that gives you options. Expand your social circle. Invest in multiple areas of your life and build a world that doesn't hinge on any one person's attention. When you truly internalize abundance, being ignored no longer derails you. It becomes a mere blip on the radar of your rich, fulfilling life. This mindset doesn't just apply to dating. It spills over into every area, making you more resilient and confident across the board. Remember, true abundance isn't about quantity. It's about quality. It's knowing you have value to offer. And the right people will recognize and appreciate it. Three, the mirror technique. Setting boundaries without words. The mirror technique is simple yet powerful. Match the other person's level of investment. If they take a day to respond, you take a day if they send short texts. Keep yours brief to this isn't about playing games. It's about setting healthy boundaries and communicating expectations through actions, not words by mirroring. You maintain equilibrium in the relationship. You subtly show that you have standards and expect reciprocity. You demonstrate that while you're interested, you won't overinvest in someone Who's not meeting you halfway? The key is to do this without resentment. It's not punishment. 
It's aligning your actions with your self-respect. Use this technique as a diagnostic tool. If mirroring consistently results in less communication, it's a clear sign the interest level might not be there. This allows you to move on without wasting time on a one-sided connection. Remember the goal isn't to manipulate, but to create balanced, healthy interactions. By valuing your time and energy as much as theirs, you set the stage for mutual respect from the start. For the passion paradox, magnetic attraction through self-focus. The most attractive response to being ignored has nothing to do with the person ignoring you. It's about redirecting that energy into your passions. While the masses obsess over every interaction, analyzing what went wrong, the top performers are outliving lives so interesting that being ignored barely registers. This is the passion paradox in action. By focusing intensely on your goals and interests, you become magnetically attractive without even trying. It showcases your depth, implying you have high standards and a rich inner life. As you excel in your chosen fields, genuine confidence naturally spills over into your interactions, creating an irresistible aura. Instead of crafting the perfect follow-up text, channel that energy into your side hustle. Rather than checking your phone every five minutes, lose yourself in a challenging project. This approach is win-win best case. Your passion reignites their interest. Worst case, you still spend your time in a fulfilling way. Growing as a person, remember, true passion is magnetic. By living a life that excites you, you'll naturally draw people who align with your values and interests. Six, the feedback loop. Turning rejection into rocket fuel. Here's a paradigm shift that separates the 1% from the rest. They view being ignored not as a setback, but as a valuable data this perspective transforms. The experience from a source of anxiety into a catalyst for growth. The 99% see rejection and immediately internalize it. They assume it's a reflection of their worth, but the top performers, they see it as feedback on their approach not their value as a person. This mindset creates a powerful feedback loop. They make a move or initiate contact. Then they either get a positive response or are ignored. Instead of emotional reaction, they objectively analyze what worked or didn't. Then they refine their approach based on the data. And finally, armed with new insights, they re-engage or move on to new opportunities. This process accelerates personal growth and dating success exponentially. Each interaction, whether successful or not, becomes a learning opportunity. So these are the real and practical steps to implement this Keep a Dating Journal. Log your interactions, knowing what seemed to work well and what didn't. Seek honest feedback, ask trusted friends for their perspective on your approach. Study social dynamics read books on body language, conversation skills, and emotional intelligence. Practice self-compassion, remember. Feedback is about your actions, not your worth, by reframing rejection as a teacher rather than a judge. You neutralize its emotional sting. More importantly, you position yourself for continuous improvement. This approach requires emotional resilience and a growth mindset, but master this. And you'll find that even the most challenging dating experiences become opportunities for becoming the best version of yourself. Seven, the authenticity paradox. Why being vulnerable makes you uncheckable? Here's a truth that might seem contradictory at first. Embracing vulnerability is the key to becoming uncheckable. This is the authenticity paradox and understanding it puts you miles ahead of the 99%. Most men think showing vulnerability is a weakness. They put up walls, play it cool, and never let their guard down. But this approach actually makes them more fragile. Why? Because they're constantly maintaining a facade. 
The 1% understand that true strength comes from authenticity. They're not afraid to express their genuine feelings without expectation. Admit when they don't know something. Show enthusiasm without worrying if it's cool or be honest about their insecurities. This level of authenticity is magnetic. For several reasons, it demonstrates true confidence. Only someone secure in themselves can be fully authentic. It creates deep connections. Vulnerability invites vulnerability, leading to more meaningful relationships. It's refreshing. In a world of carefully curated social media personas, raw authenticity stands out and it's unshakable. When you're not hiding anything, you can't be exposed or found out. Now, this doesn't mean oversharing or trauma dumping. It's about being genuine in your interactions and not hiding your true self out of fear. How can a man as you or cultivate this into his life? Here are practical ways just for you. Practice radical honesty with kindness. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Embrace your quirks. Your unique traits are what make you interesting. Share your passions unapologetically. Enthusiasm is contagious. Admit mistakes and grow from them publicly. This shows true strength of character. Remember the goal isn't to be vulnerable, to get something in return. It's about living authentically because that's the path to genuine confidence and fulfilling relationships. By adopting the authenticity paradox, you become truly unshakable. No amount of being ignored can rattle you because your self-worth isn't dependent on external validation. You're secure in who you are. Flaws in all of you have made it this far. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now.